Hey everybody, who that 3020 here? Uh, Wednesday afternoon, it's uh, 25 minutes to two. Uh, last day off here before I go back to work on Thursday tomorrow and I'll be off Friday and Saturday. I uh, got back from Louisiana last night about 10.30. Just a quick little glimpse of how we loaded it. Hauled it home like this. This is a six foot offset disc in the back of this truck here. So. Anyway, this is how we uh, had it laid in here. Got the frame rails in the bottom of it. Flipped the two gangs upside down. Got the tongue. Tongue's down in here. Wheel assembly up top. Overview, it's a WH60 wheel lift, uh, six foot offset disc, John Deere, of course. Uh, serial number zero two. The serial number is actually on this front gang. Uh, it's in one of these corners on the other side. Whenever you flip it over, and uh, so that's pretty cool. We'll we'll I'll show the serial number whenever I flip it over to a go back on assembly. But anyway, it's in pretty good shape. The tongue here, the. Uh, it was buried in ants for about 30 years there, so it's it's rusted up. Uh, I may wind up sandblasting it, lightly sandblasting it, going and painting the, painting the first uh, few feet of the tongue. I really don't want to paint it. I want to leave it the natural patina. Isn't that the going thing now? So anyway. Uh, what I did today, once I got it unloaded, I just kind of uh, assessed everything, get me a big order in. We'll start with the wheels. Uh, start over here. As I mentioned, this is a three wheel disc. Move my Kool-Aid out of the way. I about got overheated a while ago. I don't know, seem to know when to stop my problem. Anyway, uh, it's a three wheel disc. It's the heavy side. You got, got a wheel, you got one right here. This is the hub wheel and hub, wheel tire and hub that I'm missing, bearing hub. Uh, I put new bearings in this one a little while ago, as we can see. Uh, all new bearings, races, grease fit and clean the inside of it out. Uh, you know, he, he rode on this uh, with a bad bearing, so it won't take a seal. And the spindle was gouged up, but it it's tight them new races it's tight carter pins in it it's greased no seal in it but you know again you gotta understand i'm got a small place here i'm not even gonna get these bearings hot on this disc so it's gonna be fine uh ordering my tires tonight when i go in uh it's a nine inch wheel it's a 6.00 by nine. You may say, well, those are awful small tires, but these older John Deere discs were a low profile disc. It's a low profile disc. Uh, it's got a lot of angle on it, as you'll see once we get it put back together. It's a hard pulling little disc. But it's low profile, you know. A lot of John, a lot of your old bar rakes took nine inch wheels. Uh, I think some of your older grain drills, but I know for a fact the rakes did. John Deere rakes. That's what I was around. That's what we used. But anyway, got that wheel done. The hub, the hub is done. Uh, getting my tires ordered. You know, yeah, I'm missing this hub. It's still gonna pick up just fine 
uh, I've I pulled I popped the cap off it's still got good grease it's a little loose I have the bearings and races in the house I will do them uh, when I'm waiting on parts so believe it or not that tire still got 34 pounds of air in it so that tire is holding air believe it or not look at it it's original tire but I can't find those tires. It's a good year. I can't, I can't find that tire. So it's a four ply. I'm getting a six ply, just a trailer tread. But so we're good there. This is the back gain. The back gain is in good shape, except for chip blades. Uh, I'm going to take two of the blades on the front. Put one here, and I'll have to pull the axle all the way out and put one here. Now, you may say, well, if you're going to pull that axle all the way out, won't you just put new blades on it? Well, yeah, I could, but I'm trying to do this on a budget right now because we're, uh, uh, because of things I've got coming up. So, my plan is to put a used blade, like I said here. Used one down there. That one that's got that notch out of it. Uh, she's going to have to ride. Uh, these bearings feel pretty good. There's fittings on all of them. I've got to service those fittings, clean them. But I'm, the axle's loose. That's why I've, so they're spinning. Those junky scrapers are... I'm not no big fan of scrapers. I'll probably cut them off break to cut the bolts off uh i've got to get a new nut we had to take a torch and wash part of that nut off because uh it was seized up we did that down there i don't have a torch here so I'll, I'll order two new nuts tonight that's pretty much it on the uh the back is getting dark on me uh Front gain's the worst. Uh, it needs completely all new blades. I'm gonna order them tonight. Uh, everything's intact up to here. This spool right here, Warren two. It's an inch and a half shaft. This spool, you know, it's supposed to look like this. Is $106 at uh, Deer. I called them this morning. Uh, I'm not doing that. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Agri Supply, I think, has inch and a half spools. You know, that's a three inch mouth. Even if it's not that big, of course, the blades are shot. So you can't gauge, you can't gauge this. But I think with just a, any spool will work. Because you get, that froze up, I have to work on that. Because when you get to right here, that's, I'm gonna have to take in my persuader and knock that bearing bracket back this way, but I'm missing a spool right here. And it's supposed to look it's supposed to look like this. This spool actually goes into that, it tapers and goes into that bearing. This one does too. You just can't see it, but you see, you see I've got this one. I'm missing this one. So this is the comparison example. This one, which is, is supposed to be out here. It's a, I guess you'd call this like a third, you know, it's nine inch space and this is like two thirds of the spool. This would be like the third of it. There's five of these in existence in Deere's, John Deere's stock of parts and warehouses. I'm, I'm not even gonna tell you how much this is. I'm not even gonna tell you because if I, if I said how much it is, you'd say I was crazy for buying it. I hadn't bought nothing yet. I haven't bought anything yet. So. I'm going to see what I can come up with as I get that tore down. So, 
anyway, uh, I'm not going to let that stop me. So, so anyway, for tonight, I'm going to order tires, tubes, uh, I'm going to order blades, eight new blades. I'm going to get the blades I'm going to get from Shoop, S-H-O-U-P. Agri Supply does not have inch and a half round axle blades. Shoop does. Uh, and they're made in the USA. And I uh, get uh, free shipping on the blades. And so uh, I'm going to do that. Uh, tonight I gotta do it right away because I'm fading out pretty quick so I'm gonna do that and uh, get the get the blades ordered uh, you can tell that's a little bent I'm gonna knock it back straight so this is a budget rebuild and uh, oh yeah measure the cylinder I've got it in the all the way mm, wheels up, like the disc would be cutting right now. This is 20, 20 and a half inches. I uh, raised it all the way up earlier, jacked it up today. Put this pin in the lock position and it's 28 and a half. So I've got to get me a cylinder too. So uh, I may order that tonight, I, I don't know. I'm gonna be ringing up seven, eight hundred dollars for the night's over. So anyway, this spin, this hub right here. Uh, if any of you all know some one that may have it, this is this is the exact hub that would go that would go over here. This hub you measure is four and one eighth inches long. You put the tape here and read it to the end. I stuck the tape on the inside and hooked it. It's four and one eighth inches. The bearing for right, it's a tapered, it's a tapered spindle. This bearing is inch and a quarter, 1.25 inches is the bearing. This bearing is a three quarter inch bearing, 0.75 inch bearing. It's a four lug. It's a four lug with a five inch uh, with a five inch uh, bolt pattern. If you measure center to center, going across center to center. Uh, matter of fact, got my tape measure right here. Oops. If you go. I'm gonna put the phone down. You see right here, if you go center of the hole, center of the hole is five inches. So it's a four lug bolt pattern by a five inch spread. Anybody out there, uh, I need the wheel and the hub. I can't do nothing uh, with a hub and not the wheel, vice versa. So I can't find that wheel in a nine inch si uh, rim. So that's what I need. Uh, but anyway, this video is gonna be kind of long. This series, so, you know, during this series, these videos may uh, get a little lengthy. I do apologize, but uh, I'm gonna cut it on off. That's it for tonight. Uh, thank you for uh, watching, comment, subscribing. I'm wore out. I'm going inside, getting a shower, get this stuff ordered, and I'm going to bed. So, thank y'all. Uh, get the parts ordered and uh, get some more videos on a part two. Thank you.